Well, just finished up the first round of qualifying a couple hours ago. Came back, relaxed, you know, cleaned up and thought a little bit about everything that happened and how it played out. Um, the kicker for today's qualifier was that it was six clubs only. So that was a little bit of strategy and I definitely got caught on the wrong side of it. I left both my driver and my three wood at home uh, and went only with two iron as my longest club. Cause you know, one would think that that would be a nice, easy club to hit nice and straight. The problem is I was not hitting it very well. So there were some important numbers that I took away from my round being three, four and 28 three being the number of greens and regulation I had, four being the number of lost balls I had over a stretch of two holes, and 28 being the total number of putts. I was getting up and down really, really well. Um, you know, I was scrambling, I was putting really well, obviously. I was saving shots, you know, inside 50 yards, and I was really lethal with my wedges. Managed to make a couple of birdies, um, but, you know, beyond that, it just wasn't quite there. Um, because I just couldn't get off the tee. My, the guys I was playing with were hitting driver and three wood a hundred yards past me, which is to be expected. I had a driving iron. I was just going to try and plot around the course and just make a bunch of pars. And I didn't exactly start great. I made a triple bogey on my first hole, um, which wasn't great, but it happens. Um, and then I rattled off a bunch of pars in a row and I was feeling really good. Uh, if you took away the triple through my first eight holes, if without that triple, I'd have been one under. Um, and then I made a really big number on nine after hitting, you know, losing two balls on off the tee. Um, and then, you know, a couple of three putts or one or two three putts on the back nine, plus another ball out of bounds off of 18. And that was kind of it. it. I had a lot of redeeming moments. And if I hadn't made so many big numbers early on in my front nine, I probably would have fought a little bit harder for the score that I could have shot today. But it just it is what it is. Um, so I'm a little bit further back from the field compared to where I'd like to be, especially with uh, what's going on uh, score wise, what the, you know, who the automatic qualifiers are. So I'm gonna have to play pretty well next week. Um, if I want to give myself an opportunity to get picked, uh, if I want to play my way into this event or make myself a coach's pick, I'm gonna have to play really, really well. And I know I can do it. Um, I'm just gonna have to keep figuring out what's going on with my swing. Like I've got a whole week to work on it. And so it's just gonna be up to me and it, I, hopefully my dad, if I'm able to work with them over the weekend to get my swing back on plane, which it was better, but it's not quite there yet. It's just a matter of finding my game again. Cause the confidence is there. I made some birdies. I was putting while I was getting up and down really, really well. So if I can just start having those putts that I was making today for birdie or par instead of bogey or double bogey, numbers are going to fall down nice and quickly. So there's still plenty of time. There's no reason to panic. I feel okay. I know next week I can go out and play well, weather permitting. Um, and I'll give myself the opportunities that I need. Uh, so we're just going to see how it goes. Now I get to go uh, make a table over the weekend. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right, we out here getting in a little practice match. Continuation of a uh, continuation of a match from Monday in which this guy is one up on me. Um, but I think I may have outdriven him by uh, about a Walmart on this one. Yeah, because he's right there. And I'm about 45 yards in front of him. And this is a par five.
not just get that up and down. <laughs> I cannot believe that I have to make an eagle to win the hole. <laughs> I refuse. I demand a recount. <laughs> that or not force me by trying to make an eagle by making a mistake. Step and everything. Blame the step. Yep. I blame the step. Thanks to a Callaway demo and an impending thunderstorm, which you wouldn't believe given the contents of the sky behind me, uh, there was no practice today. So I went out there, I just did chipping for fun, and um, now I just get to relax all night. So here's the deal with round two tomorrow. I'm not really in the position that I'd like to be after the first round, but um, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination out of it. I'm only a few shots back, I think like seven back of the cutoff for where the travel team will be. So if I go out tomorrow and fire a good round around that I know I'm capable of, I should have no problem cracking uh, the, uh, the team, especially with the weather being what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be rainy, it's supposed to be windy, and it's supposed to be cold. Again, 
not as crazy as two weeks ago or last week whenever that was, it was last week yeah but uh still enough to throw some people off and i know the people who i'm chasing down can get thrown off by the weather just as much as i can so it's really anybody's game it's all up to me and my ability to go out and make less bogeys than those around me to try and beat the two guys i'm playing with and let the chips fall where they do Sure, recycle kids. So I have run out of leftovers. Oh wow, that almost fell over. I've run out of leftovers, so I just have to cook stuff today. We got eggs, we've got rice, we got soy sauce. It's fried rice time. One, all over my hand. And that's two. Again, all over my hands. Now we add the soy sauce. And we're gonna add more later. And now we mix. And we keep mixing. And we keep mixing. Until it's kind of all come together. And now we let it do the frying. If I could use a wok, I would, because it would make this a million times easier. But not only would it not work on the stove, my RA already told me that I can't have one, so... I'm gonna have to make do with this. I think it's almost done. I am chef. Wee oui, wee. Oui. And just like that, we're done. Time to go watch TV. Oh yeah, and just to add more to this story for the day, it's currently like tornado warning, severe thunderstorm outside. So for once, the range didn't overreact and shut down super early in the day for no reason. It's like the end of the world outside. Um, so hopefully, hopefully everything's still there tomorrow and it's not totally sloshed out. And first and foremost, hopefully, you know, a tornado doesn't come demolish my building. Uh, so we'll deal with the golf course tomorrow. Tonight, it's just going to be hunkered down for the next couple of hours until the storm passes. So it's now a couple of days after my second qualifying round for this first tournament. And... Um, while I played good on Friday, I'm recording this on Monday uh, after, after spending another weekend recovering from the ice storm that hit us four and a half weeks ago now. Uh, I played good. I struck the ball really well. I hit my driver really well. I hit my irons really, really well. Um, I All the things that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks have finally started to like show that they're actually starting to manifest in my swing. And I made a lot of really good choices on terms of like off the tee, what club to hit, what shot to hit in certain circumstances. Uh, and I made a couple of birdies, uh, made a run of three in a row in the middle of my round, which felt really, really good for the confidence. That being said, I still feel like I left a couple of shots out there. I was five over on my front nine when I should have been one or two under, uh, just because of mental mistakes, uh, primarily uh, taking four shots to get down from 15 feet away from the flag off the green after hitting a really bad chip shot. Um, and then situations beyond my control, winding up in a footprint in a bunker and making a triple bogey after trying to knife it out of the sand once or twice. And if you've ever tried to hit a ball that's below the level of the sand, you know it's not fun. And with me being as strong as I am, I couldn't even get the ball out cleanly on my first attempt, which only goes to show how you know crazy it was. And by that point, I was a little bit frustrated and I kind of let the round get away from me. And then I brought it back with those three birdies later on in the middle of my back nine. Um, but all in all, I, I feel okay. Unfortunately, I didn't score good enough to qualify for this next event, uh, which is okay because it takes place over spring break and I would have missed out on a lot of fun time with my family. Yeah, I would have much preferred to play in a tournament with my team as a senior, but it's, it's okay because... Um, you know, the right people are going again, and I think they're going to do great. Uh, you know, coming off of a win last time out, you know, we're climbing up the national ranks, and I'm super thrilled for my teammates. They're having a great season already, and I'm enjoying being a part of it by proxy. So 
I'm not really going to worry too much about what would happen if I was there or what would happen since I'm not there. And I'm just going to keep uh, chugging along. I get a couple of weeks to myself. I have nothing going on this week in terms of qualifying and then spring break. And then we come back and we hit the ground running after break in a couple of weeks, which will be a whole lot of fun. The last thing that I have to do with the team uh, for anything before spring break is also the most exciting. Tomorrow, I get to receive a, a fabulous award. Fabulous award, stuff that I've been waiting for for a very long time, something that me and my team have been very excited to get. We finally get recognized for our conference championship from last year. Um, and so, you know, the whole the whole ring receiving ceremony happens tomorrow night, and I'm really excited to finally see what fabulous award I get to commemorate what is probably the high watermark of my college career. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like you to turn your attention to the center of the field. Southwestern University Athletics would like to welcome your 2022 SEAC Men's Golf Conference Champions. The Pirates took last year's championship in outstanding fashion, coming back to take the victory after being five strokes down with three holes to play in the tournament. Ian Cameron.